Hello everyone, my name is Holly Hetzner and I'm an open software reviewer for Open Culture Consultants located in East Lansing. For today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can use the free and open software Scribus to add interactive elements to PDF documents for free, and it's really easy to do. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of adding two of the most commonly used interactive PDF elements, a text box and a checkbox. I'll also show you how to save your interactive PDF and check to make sure everything works. We're going to jump right into adding interactive elements to the PDF timesheet example we created in my previous tutorial. If you don't have Scribus installed or aren't sure how to design a PDF using Scribus, I recommend you put this tutorial on pause and visit my earlier tutorials where I walk through that process. To view those, again, check out the OCC website at OpenCultureConsultants.com. So here we are back again at our fictional company, the Valkyrie Foundation. Valkyrie needed a timesheet that their employees and volunteers could fill out using a computer and then email to their supervisor. Thanks to our last tutorial, we have the timesheet all set up with all the necessary document fields, including name, hours worked, etc. Now we just need to add the interactive elements, and we'll start with the text box. Select the Insert PDF text field icon located in the right corner of the Scribus toolbar. Move your mouse to the right of the Name field. Click your mouse and drag the red rectangle until it's the exact size you need. And that's it. Let's do one more example. Again, select the Insert PDF text field icon. Move your mouse to the right of the Department field. Click your mouse and drag. And now we have two text boxes. Now let's learn how to add a checkbox. Select the Insert PDF Checkbox icon in the right corner of the Scribus toolbar. Move your mouse to the right of the Employee text box. Just like we did earlier, we're going to drag our mouse to form a small square. So let's do it one more time. Select the icon, find your field, click and drag to the size you want, and there you go. So now that we've gone through and created all the interactive elements that we want in our PDF, it's time to save it and test it out. So to save the PDF, select Save as PDF icon in the Scribus toolbar. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and ignore the error that comes up. So to save, all we need to do is click the Save button in the lower right corner of the pop-up box. So let's open our newly saved PDF to test it out. First, let's click into the text box by name and type. Then let's click into the checkbox. If you've typed into the text box and clicked into a checkbox, then congratulations, you've just created your first interactive PDF using Scribus.